wrestling fans and for wrestler Ric Flair. The Nature Boy, as he is called, will try to win the United States Heavyweight Championship. Before the match, he takes the time to test the ring, where tonight quick bodies and quick brains will meet. I can take a 300-pound wrestler that isn't in shape and have him tripping over his tongue in three minutes. The physical part of it is, is something you either have it or you don't, but the, the mental part of, the, of our sport is, is very demanding. A lot of people don't realize that, but you've got to be able to outthink. If you can't outthink the guy, you can't outmaneuver him. Some people say that, well, frankly, sometimes wrestling looks fake. I don't think so. So Rick so, kindly uh, offered to demonstrate a few holes. <laughs> Like, this no, is a figure four leg lock, no, and experience proves it is not fake. No! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! The only way to really get a feel for what wrestling is all about is to be directly involved. Obviously, wrestling takes a lot of muscles, which counts some people out. So, as the next best thing, referee Stu Schwartz agreed to teach an amateur how to referee a match. The things that you have to watch for, mainly as a referee, is uh, choking. And welcome to another program of Mid-Atlantic Worldwide Wrestling. It doesn't take long to learn that this is a tough job. may be getting the contestants out of the ring once the match is over. While the amateur referee tries to clear the ring, Rick Flair is in his dressing room preparing for the big match. His nose has been broken four times and he's had broken fingers. Not surprising considering that he wrestles about four times a week. It's a tough business, but apparently worth it all. At age 29, Rick says he hopes to retire in about four years. He says his income is already in six figures. Since he began wrestling in 1973, he says he's held almost every championship belt except the world's heavyweight. Tonight, he will try to regain the U.S. heavyweight championship belt from current champion Greg Valentine, a man who was once Flair's partner and friend, but no more. No, not at all. He broke my nose, and he's, he's done a lot of things that don't make it hard for me to get in the ring with him at all. That means... Uh... The two of you are no longer friends? Not at all. Not even acquaintances. He hasn't always been the blonde-haired good guy. He used to be the blonde-haired bad guy. But he's always held an attraction for the fans. Wrestling promoter Henry Marcus. Well, he delivers. He, uh, he gives them action. He gives them something that people come out here and pay their money. And he gives them something to haul and cheer about. I think that I'm liked because the people can identify with me. I'm a real crazy kind of a guy. I express myself very openly on TV. I express myself very open, openly publicly. Uh, uh, I live a lifestyle that I think a lot of the younger generation identifies with. You know, I'm, I, everything I talk about, everything I say about myself, I believe. And I do. You know, if I say I'm going to rent a Learjet tomorrow and fly to Minneapolis, I'll do it. If I want to buy a limousine tomorrow, I'll buy a limousine. Whatever the reason, the fans do like Ric Flair. How long have you been coming to wrestling matches? You would believe it's 20 years. 20 years? Who's your favorite wrestler? Favorite uh, right now would be Ric Flair. We've been coming to wrestling for about t uh, 10 years. What do you think of it? I like it. We love it. We watch it on TV and all. Who's your favorite wrestler? Ric Flair. For the record, the challenger weighs 245 pounds and enters from the good guy's corner. Champion Greg Valentine weighs 250 pounds and enters from the bad guy's corner. After a quick review of the rules, the referee calls for the bell. The wrestlers size each other up and try to psych each other out. And the match begins. To understand wrestling, you must understand the rules. No choking, no pulling hair, no punches below the belt. If you or your opponent touch the ropes, it is not okay to beat on your opponent's chest. It is not okay to stomp on your opponent's arms. It is not okay to stand on your opponent's face. 
It is, however, okay to do more harm to yourself than to your opponent. Again. And again. And again. In the end, it all came down to a mistake. While Ric Flair was holding Valentine's shoulders to the mat, he didn't realize that the referee was counting both men's shoulders as down. On the last count, Valentine raised his shoulder and Flair was counted out. A crushing defeat and the fans were not pleased. But the referee's decision is final and the only thing left is for Rick to try again. But for now, victory has slipped away.